Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to understand what is queue in Salesforce. So let's understand queue with a real time example. So let's say when suppose when we call any customer care and we usually get a message that your call is in the queue so that the customer knows that they are being served along with many customers and they have to wait for some time. So basically it's just, a li it's just like a line where you have to wait for your turn to be served. Same is for the queues in Salesforce. So let's understand with a real time example again for Salesforce. So let's say any customer has raised a query or a case or he has logged any case. Now only one person can't serve all the cases for all the customer. So let's say there are 1000 customers and 500 of them uh, raised a case today. Only one person won't be able to serve this all these issues. That's why we create a group of people that can serve for all the cases raised by the customer. And now these cases can be wholly assigned to a queue. The whole queue, so let's say the case resolving queue, there is one queue, there are around 100 members inside this. All the cases that are been raised, the owner of these queues, uh, the owner of these cases can be the queue itself. So it can be wholly assigned to the queues. And, and then any queue member who is free or has the bandwidth will own this each of this case and resolve it. So let's jump to a Salesforce op to create one of the queue. Right now, as you can see, uh, in Quick Find, you just have to search for the queues and you will be able to find out the queues. I'll click on New and I will provide the label that is Case Serving. queue name will be automatically populated now if you click on this whenever a case is assigned to this queue all the case members will get an email if you tick on this checkbox so right now I'm just not clicking on this and as we had to build the case serving queues this means it this queue will serve only the cases raised by the customer hence our object would be case and which who should be the queue members who uh, like our normal users could be the queue members public groups could be the queue members roles and subordinates could be the queue members so right now I will add Raju Srivastav as my queue member so as we can see the our if we click if we click on save our queue is successfully created so this is how you create a queue in Salesforce I hope you found this video helpful if you found this video helpful Please subscribe to our channel.